Look at these cute little guys. So sweet and delicious. You just wanna eat them up, right? That's the problem. We consume so much these days that it's killing us. Seriously. You see sugar is everywhere. It's in all the usual suspects, but you might not realize that it's in a lot of other food. Did you know that our daily intake average 95 grams? That might not sound like a lot, but it adds up to 77 pounds of sugar every year. Now look at the American Heart Association's daily recommendation. It's no wonder 1 in 3 adults and 1 in 5 kids are obese. It's not just because sugar tastes good, it's also addictive. Consuming it, even thinking about it, causes a euphoric effect that triggers the production of dopamine in your brain, a neurotransmitters that controls pleasure and is responsible for reward motivated Studies behavior. Studies show sugar is as addictive as alcohol and cocaine, and it's hard to avoid. There are about 600,000 different packages food items in grocery store today, and 80% of them contain added sugar. But what we drink could be our biggest problem. Guzzle just one of these beverages and you've more than filled your daily recommended allowance. It's tricky. Did you know that food manufacturers use more than 30 different names for the most common sugar? So what the problem? Well, sugar are carbohydrates that are roughly half glucose and half fructose. Consuming glucose make your pancreas secret a hormones called insulin, which, among other things, causes your body to store fat. Your liver deals with the fructose, but it can't do it in the quantities many of us consume today. It releases some of it as fat, but most of that backs up in your liver cells. Now you've got a condition called insulin resistance. You're secreting more and more insulin in response to all the carbs in your diet and even the proteins. The result you get flatter, and you get fatty build up and now you're inflamed arteries. You're what some doctor called metabolically disturbed. Your body can no longer regulate itself. Eventually, it will kill you. Along the way, your pancreas might give out and you'll become diabetic. And there's reason to believe that metabolic disturbances cause high blood pressure, heart disease, cancer, and of course obesity. Well, the good news is that there are five things you can do to avoid and reverse the damage. 1. Avoid sugary drinks. All that glucose and fructose literally is an assault on your system. Give tea or a carbonated water a try. Something besides processed sugar water. Why drink all your calories? Number 2. Read labels carefully. Yes. Processed food are convenient, but often they're loaded with sugar and provide little nutrition. Number 3. Exercise a little. It may not seem what much, but a daily half-hour walk help reduce stress and control your blood sugar and cravings. Number 4. Don't trust processed low-fat foods. Guess what? The missing fat usually replace with salt and sugar. And your body just converts added sugar into fats after you eat. And number 5. Eat more fiber. Try to eat at least 20 to 30 grams of fiber every day. Fiber-rich foods typically are high in vitamins and antioxidants and keep you feeling full longer. Hey, it just come down to making smarter choices. The foods you eat can either be the safest and most powerful form of medicine or the slowest form of poison.